Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to give you a little walkthrough of the school we're doing here in Saratoga Springs, the uh, school district uh, high school. We're doing about 39 think boards today, uh, about maybe a dozen or so classrooms. But I just wanted to give you a quick before and after of what we're doing and talk about the benefit of resurfacing your chalkboards with a think board. So right off the bat, I mean, these are green, old chalkboards, kind of ugly, uh, kind of a pain to unscrew these off the wall. You come around, we'll just check out all of them. And so the teachers don't really use the chalkboards anymore. They're mainly using smart boards in the front of the screen. But with advancing technology and chalk dust and students' allergies to chalk dust and the chalk getting in the vents of the technology, it's not really a good combination. So the school is having us recover all of their chalkboards in the school you know, over the course of many years. And we have been doing this for the last five years at this school. Come on over to the next room. I'll show you a room that we just completed. Um, but super quick, super easy. We come in during the summer. Uh, we can also ship them right to you. But as you can see, chalk in one room, and then about 20 minutes goes by. And you can see right over here, We've got beautiful new whiteboards, cut perfectly to the edges, and you know, same nice structure that was here before, and for a couple hundred dollars and a couple minutes of our time, we're able to convert these to high-performing whiteboards. The finish on them is better than a porcelain whiteboard. It's comparable to glass and a fraction of the cost, and just check out how much it brightens up the classroom, how much nicer it looks, the, the students are gonna be able to get up out of their class, or out of their chairs and write on the boards and you know really enjoy that. So um, yeah, really cool. We, we love doing it and we love saving you guys money and saving you time. And sometimes it could be a hassle to rip these boards off the wall, especially if you've got some 16 footers that we've been seeing in this school. I can't imagine how you get them out of the, the school, but. That's, uh, that's one of our parts of the business. So check us out and uh, feel free to reach out and we'll come check out your school. All right, day two at Saratoga. And uh, I just wanted to show you a 16 foot chalkboard. It's built super well, really nice tray, really solid. There's nothing wrong with it. No reason it needs to go to the landfill, but traditionally a school would have to take this whole thing down cut it into one or two pieces just to get it out the door. Um, couldn't go out the window, so there's really no option here other than cutting it and then slowly taking it and throwing it into a dumpster, which is just insane. And so fortunately we're resurfacing this with ThinkBoard. You'll see the after video in 10 seconds. But also looking over here, we've got this beautiful sliding whiteboard system over here that is also in great shape. It's, we learned yesterday it's 40 years old. There's nothing wrong with it. It still functions just fine. We could, we could even cover a think board right here as well. But we're about to resurface this, and we printed a grid so we can resurface this one as well. Uh, again, this whole sliding system, beautiful shape. It probably cost a couple thousand dollars even 40 years ago, and there's no reason to take this off and throw this whole thing away and put it in the landfill when with just a couple sheets of think board will be able to convert this entire classroom. All right, so we just resurfaced this entire classroom and this is the amount of trash that we have from a 16 foot board, a seven foot board, and then two sliding whiteboards over there with a custom grid. But just think about, yeah, I mean, the difference of this in a landfill versus this entire board and that entire board and that entire sliding board system back there. Uh, I mean, this is just a wax paper. Uh, sometimes it's recyclable, but separating gets a little challenging. So again, from an environmental standpoint, huge environmental savings, um, but just the time and energy to rip this entire board off the wall, cut it in half or in three, put it into a dumpster, wait for it to trash get taken out and then do it for that board. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the other thing that I forgot to mention earlier was the asbestos problem in a lot of schools that some chalkboards you can't just rip off the wall and put a whiteboard on. And so what 
covering it with a ThinkPort does, and it just allows you to have this whiteboard experience, a high quality whiteboard experience, without needing to peel the board off the wall and do an asbestos abatement, which would cost thousands of dollars per classroom. So another cost savings with ThinkPort, and just come on and check out this custom one over here. This is really cool. This is something that only we can do. Yes, it's a simple grid, but we could have the ability to print whatever you want. Um, all of our products are custom made, custom fit to size, and it doesn't cost you anything extra to have custom dimensions. So that's, that's our business, that's our product. This is what we do in schools, and we'd love to help you guys.